Good morning. So, uh, New Year, and uh, so Happy New Year to you all. Um, back to Snippet Pixie next dev. Uh, at the end of uh, last year, 2021, um, I finished off the export feature, um, and I think the next thing to do is an import feature uh, for the CLI, the command line interface. Um, it should, that will help us immensely in just testing, uh, making sure that we can import and export um, different snippets. Um, so today I will kind of just get started on that, kind of work out how I'm going to structure it, um, and maybe put in, if I need to do any structural changes at all uh, for um, how to handle that, I'm not sure. It might be relatively easy. Um, with the export feature done, um, we may be able to just use a lot of that for the the rigging. So um, let's have a look. Um, there's two, like in the export, I think I'll do the sort of legacy version um, using the old flags to make sure that you can upgrade from snippet pixie 1.53 um, but also do a sub command version as well so that's what I aim for anyway so let's get going it's been a few weeks now um, what's that three weeks since I've worked on this, I think. Ah, okay, yep. It's all new. New version of GoLand. Okay, right, so, yeah, we had lots of things open. Um, let's do a fetch. Make sure I haven't done that. I don't think I did anything over this over Christmas. I can't remember. I, I don't think I cleaned up anything or um, Yeah, maybe that was Yeah, I did that quick little fix there. Um, don't think, yeah, uh, I found that the builds in, um, on, were failing because we are now using, um, some features of Go 1.16, um, and Ubuntu LTS has 1.15. So um, I just knocked that one on, on the head for the moment. Um, so in our builds, uh, we just have Arch, Nixos, and Ubuntu Next. So, which is good because by the time we're done with this, that'll be, <laughs> that'll be LTS. So we can just switch it up then. All right. Um, okay, I'm just going to close all these, I think. Um, well, actually, no, I'll keep that one and I'll close the other tabs. Right, so uh, this is the export um, library as such, which I think we'll be using to some extent for the import, potentially. So uh, we do have this different uh, JSON 101, um, which is for the, the old format. Um, and then on the new format, uh, we just have a JSON export. Um, so we're going to probably duplicate this rather than just re reuse it because it's all export here. It's a namespace. Um, you know, we're doing all the export functions and things. Whether I, I think the the import is going to want to use some of this, um, but I still want it to be a different namespace. So. Let's see what we've got in the CLI. Um, we have, so we're going to want to do the config changes. Um, we have an export. 
command line. And then in the default, uh, we also have export as well. OK. And then we've got the config test. OK, let's do it that way around this time. Uh, we'll do, OK, let's do, we'll create some failing tests um, for CLI. Uh, we want it to basically do all of this, but in reverse. Um, and there's a couple of extra flags that come along with an import. So if I look at the... Yeah, so we've got same format. It's an import with a short form. But soon after, so I'll do it later. I won't do it as part of this little slice of dev. We're going to have a force as well. Um, so when you do an import, you want to say, OK, if I already have an abbreviation in my library, I don't want it updated unless I force, force it. Um, so it's going to be keyed on the abbreviation. Um, that's a unique key. Um, kind of. Uh, but we'll come to that later. So but we'll just do the, the basic import first. So let's create some uh, tests here. Um, and just as a reminder, this is a sort of data-driven uh, test. So we've got this array of um, uh, a structure. So we've got the arguments being passed into Snippet Pixie. So it's like, hey, we're going to pass in to the function uh, in it, config in it, these arguments. Um, and then we're going to expect some sort of command to be spit out of the function. Um, and some arguments. So in this case, like we've got ping, um, and then uh, the response will be pong. Um, and then the expected out is purely for um, standard uh, standard output display, which should, I think, in all of them be nothing. Uh, we never expect any kind of output uh, when it's working well. Um, but on the failing tests where we, uh, we've got a similar setup, uh, but we basically always expect some sort of standard error output. Uh, but anyway, uh, look at previous videos for that. If you want to see all that done, um, right. No idea what, which ones they were. Uh, right. So let's do the short form as well. So we can just take these three for starters because we'll just do the default flags and then we'll do the subcommand later. So we'll do this. Oh, before I do that, I should make sure everything's building correctly. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I do make clean. Okay. Uh, should we bump that up a bit? There we go. And then I make test. Oh, make test. Yeah, it's been a while. It always seems to get stuck. If you haven't done it for a while. I wonder why. I wonder what libraries it's kind of doing things with. Oh, they're all cached. Maybe I've cleaned out some caches. Um, all right, so that worked. Um, and then we we'll just do a make, just to make sure that's all good. It looks to be OK. Um, so if I, if I go into the CLI here, I should have 
there's a snippet. Um, I should get a help message and I can now do, um, oh yeah, I haven't, still need to do all that. I still need to improve the help messages so it shows sub commands because we've got a list and things as well now. So I should be able to do a list. Ah, and then we've got to do this daemon. So that's good. Is the daemon okay? Start it up. And now I'll do a list. That's good. There's a whole bunch. Because I copied across an old um, library. So I need to fix this up. This is not a good format. I think I need to just go to doing um, abbreviation and body, and that's enough. Um, and then maybe have a formatted output where you can do, you could do this on your own if you wanted it, because you really only just want to see what you got some other time. Uh, not important just now. Okay, so it's working, which is good. Um, and now we need to just go off and break it again. So we're going to do import here. In fact, uh, why did I do that? Why don't we do Uh, plus two, substitute, export, in fact, yeah, for import, and then here we'll do it again, we'll substitute capitalized. Export. Import. Okay. So we have new commands that we expect but don't have yet of snippet pixie import, uh, which is never going to work. So we don't even expect that to work. So because we haven't given it a file name. We're going to have to give it a file name, no matter what. Uh, we're not going to have a default import file name. That's just too dangerous. So that test can actually go. What we want is this. We want to give it a file name. Uh, we expect a command to be output of, to be set up, import. Um, and we're going to pass to that command file name Wibble.json in this case, and then the same thing happens, but with a short form. Uh, so that's going to be I, um, and we get an import bar name JSON. Okay. Now, when we run the test, it should fail. Let's go up here, zoom up. Make test. Yep, so we've got a failure there. And the output um, some help, which has nothing in it of usage at the moment. So let's go fix this up then. So this is <laughs> got to actually do the work. Um, do we want to do anything here while we're waiting? I haven't got any export failures there. Mm, that's because export. It doesn't have any. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. Might be, might be able to add some there, but maybe not. Okay, config. I've got export, which seems like... I 
We don't have a default file. That's, I wonder if that would actually be useful. So we've got Snippy Pixie. If we do um, help export, it does give you the default file there. Would that be useful at all on an import? No, we just need to say, give me a file name. Yeah, we don't want a dynamic, so that's fine. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, we're going to do... I'll just take it all. And... Um... I'll substitute export with import. take out that yet. Don't want that. And I think we'll just make that a blank string so that we can test it. Uh, input snippets from file. Okay. So that should still not work. Because we haven't done anything down here. Okay, so... What we want I think what we'll do is we'll do something similar here, but we'll just check that we have file name. think I'm gonna try something and we'll do that um
Okay. I think that should make it pass. When did I do that? I thought I caught that. <laughs> Good catch. Okay, so it passed. Let's do that verbosely. Uh, right, so what happens I want to quickly try I'm going to get rid of this afterwards though but if I do this do I get empty file name passed? Because that's something I need to protect against. It catches it. Flag needs an argument import. Okay. Um, so I'll have a quick test here then. What if I pass space? As a separate argument. Is that going to cause problems? Good, okay, but that's a proper crash there. Hmm, another quick test then. What if we do that? Ooh. Okay. Do not want that. So we've just found something we want to test here. Um, Do it at the end. So if I do that, I'm expecting a failure, but I'm probably not getting one at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Did not get an error, basically. Right, so that's what we want to test in the config. OK. 
Okay, we're going to do this basically. So we're all going to do here. Um, If if trim import file and uh, then equals zero do the do. Why is that complaining? Oh, there's a um, trim space, that's what I want. Uh, no name supplied. I'll do. Okay, does that work? I'll try it already. Okay, so import import equals right. But I want more than that. Why am I not getting the kind of you can tell I've been away from this project for a few weeks. I've forgotten how it works. So if I, when do I call that? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm up, I'm putting help stuff because it's not a pass error I wonder Is there a way to have a flag like this that says I want and must have a non-empty option supplied? Let's have a look at the docs.
Don't think so, basically. Okay. All right. So we have to do it ourselves. That's fine. Uh, so here, um, I guess I could just do usage. Just like I do here. Okay. Let's try that. Hmm. If I were to do add hello, I should get here. It's similar. I do just get the the error at the bottom without any prefix. I could always add a prefix, like an error. Look, we have a prefix on the usage here. So that's fine. So it's working as intended if I do that at the moment. That's fine. Okay. We'll do that. We'll just pass usage when we want to show that explicitly and then throw an error. Okay. So that means that test should pass now. Yeah, okay. Good. All right. So we're now getting, if you don't pass in a file name, uh, you get an error now. If you do this, do you also get an error? Apparently so. That's good. Great. Happy days. Okay, so that's working now. We get the config. We can get a file name um, if passed in. We just need to do something with it now. Uh, so at the moment, we're doing all of this in main. So we have export. This is probably going to change. Um, I think at some point we're going to need to pull this out. Um, do like a run file. Because um, it's going to start getting a bit long in here, I think. So... Mm 
Okay, so we can. Hmm. So we've got versioned export at the moment. And we kind of want to do a versioned import too, so we can bring in the older version. But we can do that later. So, and that's going to have to be on the sub command. That's not what we're working on at the moment. So yeah, we can only import same version oh that's a good point don't need to specify the version because the file does that for us it has a version string in it uh, yeah okay so we only need one import that can pass The headers see what it is and then do the right kind of full import yeah that's a good point okay uh, so let's start doing that then we can do something a lot simpler than what we've got there think hmm I think we need to do the import module otherwise we're just going to have compile time errors anyway so here we're going to do new go file I could, I could do export read file. Mm. Oh, yes, I am anyway. I'm going to do it in the export package. Internal package. I think. Let's not let's have a look at the export.
Yeah. I think I can get away with just doing it in here for the moment. And then if it gets a bit hairy, we can split it out into another file and or another package and then just take the hit of having to do namespace calls. It would be quite nice to just keep it all in the one for the moment. But we're working out how we're going to work with these headers and things. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here then... It's kind of the opposite of write file. Uh, we're just going to do an import. So it's going to be... Um, read file. And I said our... What? Thank you. Uh, read file. Imports. Snippets. From. What's the help message we've got? From far. What's the old format? Import snippets from file, skip snippets where abbreviation already exists. That's what I need. I thought it might be different. do here. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to take file name is a string, nothing else, and then we're going to return Just a yay or nay, I suppose. An hour. Or not. Don't need to do anything else. It just needs to do the job. It's going to call... It's going to call the debug server for 
actually do in the data import. So yeah, just an error again, I guess. Kind of just a wrapper to do the whole process. For the moment, I guess we could do, um, we could break it up later. Yeah, no, as fun as it's the thing. Um, so now we need to actually do some things and we're not ready to do that because we haven't got anything. I'm running out of time. Oh, we have got debus stuff for that. Got add snippet and update snippet. Have we? Did I do update? Uh, debus service. Uh, add get remove. But what do we actually have? Oh, that's just the snippet. Um, manager. Updates to bit, yeah. Yeah. We kind of need an upset. So for this initial version of the import, because we don't have the force flag yet, it is just add snippet. But we need to know we don't want to throw lots of errors we need to we need to get the snippets first check them against what we've got then do an add or reject Hmm. Yes, we do. We need to do that. Okay, and I haven't really got time for starting all that now. So I guess I just have to stop here. Um, think about it. Let's do um, quick to do's. So to do. Um. Read and check file format. Check to do uh, check version. Uh, I need to do a little snippy for that. Um, get existing snippets for comparison, which is spelled wrong. Too many hours. Um, and then Iterate over 
imported snippets and add if new. Right, I think that's me. Um, I'm not going to do any more today. Um, need to get on with my my work day. Um, but yeah, that's good. We we started. We've got the config in place for the CLI. Um, I think I know now what I'm going to do on the read. Um, and then there's going to have to be an option later. Um, put in now I suppose but we're gonna need a force Something like that. Yeah, okay. All right. That's quite a day. Um, so thanks, uh, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, take care.